Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, makeup, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So I'm finally doing the ranking of my replica collection. I have 12 replica fragrances here and we're gonna talk about all of them and I'm going to rank them and this should be interesting and it was hard too. <laughs> so if you're not new here, you know that I love replica fragrances. The reason why I love replica fragrances so much is because they really take you to a point in time, whether you've been there before or not. So they take you back to different experiences that you may have experienced before or take you somewhere you may have never been before and it'll just give you like the whole vis visualization and all of that. So that's why I like replica fragrances. They're not like super groundbreaking fragrances and all of that. I just like that they pinpoint a certain you know time and memory and it could really take you there so that's why I like them I know a lot of people have a hard time with replica fragrances because they don't want to smell like what the literal memory is or it just doesn't play well on their skin but these for me do work for me I have some that I like more than others and we all know that these are the EDTs so uh, some of them don't last as long as others but some of them here do have pretty good long-lasting power so we're gonna talk about all of that as we go through them if you're not familiar with replica fragrances this is what the bottles look like and i like that they're just nice sleek minimalistic clean like i just like the whole clean aesthetic with these the fact that they don't have tops used to bother me when i first started collecting them but now it's like I like it like this. <laughs> you don't have to pay full price for these fragrances. You can get them on a discount site like FragranceNet. So I'll definitely link all of the ones that are available on FragranceNet down in the description box so you can get them for a better price. So since I have this one in my hand, let's talk about this one. And this one is under the lemon tree. I like that these fragrances have different color juice in there and the juice usually corresponds with the fragrance. So this is under the lemon trees. It says Palermo 1987 Relaxing and Bright Lemon. So I do like this fragrance. Now this is perfect for spring and summer. This has a nice citrusy opening. This one luckily does not go cleaning product on me. It just stays like a nice citrusy vibe on me. And then it dries down to a woody fragrance. So you like get the lemons, you get the brightness from the lemons, and then you get the woodiness from the tree, like sitting under a lemon tree. The, the woodiness is still there and the, the citrus is still there. This is just one of those clean fragrances when you just want to be fresh and clean, especially when it's like super hot outside. So that's what this will be perfect for. And I can't wait to put more use to it when it gets really hot outside. I think this is good for spring as well, but definitely summertime. This is a nice out of the shower type of vibe when you are just going to be in the house you know it's still hot outside but you may not be going anywhere this is also good for that too this one i get maybe three or four hours out of but that's kind of you know standard for freshies a lot of freshies don't last long and that's no different with this one this one is definitely one that you would have to reapply which y'all know i don't mind that one was new to my collection and so is this one this is springtime in a park shanghai 2019 blossoms and fruity notes love the pink juice and it really does read springtimes this one is for my floral lover so if you love florals this one is a nice floral fragrance it has a nice wateriness to it and it definitely gives perfume it doesn't just smells like smell like flowers and stems so i like this one better than flower market i had a decant of flower market and i really didn't like that one this one i like much better it gives you that nice floral little bit of powderiness softness like it has like maybe iris in there or something like that i don't know if it does it smells nice and light and airy like peonies in there you might got some rose in there but it does give you like like pretty pink cherry blossom flowers you, you do get that vibe when you spray this when it dries down it smells more like a soft soapy type of shampoo to me on my skin and i really like it i also get about maybe three to four hours with this so this is another one that you would have to reapply throughout the day but that's totally fine especially since it's going to be hot in the spring and the summer you know it will radiate off your skin a little bit more i'm a heavy sprayer so definitely looking forward to wearing this more this spring and summer so this one is on a date this is the newest release to the replica collection this is province 2014 grapes and roses to me this is definitely a unisex scent like i can see a man and a woman wearing this you get like 
bright brightness like you're drinking a rosé or a wine so it has like a fizziness to it um it definitely has a greenness in it it's got divana in it so that divana gives you like a greenness you know what i mean it's supposed to be like you're sitting in a vineyard having on a date having a glass of wine when i first got this i really didn't care for it that much like it was okay but i wasn't like in love with it and i figured it probably needed to sit because it just didn't just didn't smell quite right it has been getting better it's not as musty as it was because that oak moss does come through on this fragrance so i feel like you have to like a mossy woody type of undertone with the grapes and the florals in this uh fragrance like the black currant you smell that it gives it like that grapey wine vibe and then it gets really mossy and woody and but the grapes stay throughout it, it does have a sweetness to it it really does smell like a perfume and a cologne at the same time this does smell more like cologne to me but it may read different on different people's skin so that is on a date next is jazz club this one says jazz club brooklyn 2013 heady cocktails and cigars this one is such a nice fragrance but it's definitely unisex leaning masculine it smells like a nice attractive sexy man that you will see in a like speakeasy or something like that definitely in a jazz club it smells like you're in a jazz club if you've ever been to a jazz club this definitely smells like that you smell the cocktails you smell the smoke in the air it's not super smoky but you like smell the smoke in the air you smell the cognac or the rum or it's a definitely a dark type of liquor and you smell the man that is drinking the liquor smoking the cigar but he has on a nice suit and he smells really really good like that's what this whole bottle <laughs> smells like yep you get you get all of that you get the smoke you get the liquor you get the man in his cologne and the clean cut shaven type of man and it just smells really really good this is definitely like i said unisex and it leans more on the masculine side and this is definitely one of the more stronger long lasting ones like you can get like six hours with this one next is sailing day first of all i'm obsessed with the blue juice like it just definitely says sailing day i love it it says sailing day peros 2001 aquatic deep sea and that's what you get you really get like an ocean vibe from this this feels like you're like on a yacht in the middle of the mediterranean the water is like blue like this and it's just you kind of get that airy sea water you kind of get you know that saltiness in the air you you get that whole ocean sailing day type of vibe it's sunny outside you feel the skin tanning your the sun tanning your skin like it's just a perfect beautiful day on a yacht or something like that like that is exactly what this smells like it's fresh it's clean it's a little strong at first on your skin but it does calm down after about maybe five or ten minutes so don't be afraid to try this if you are a woman and you like fresh clean aquatic fragrances this can lean slightly masculine i will say that but i feel like this is definitely a unisex fragrance when i wear i just feel like i just smell nice clean fresh you know this is good for out the shower definitely good for a super super hot day and I just really like the way this smells when I'm going for that vibe so this one is lipstick on it says Chicago 1952 night blush and rice powder and this is a discontinued fragrance and it really does smell like lipstick it's a little too waxy for me I like it in the dry down better than I like the opening but the opening kind of stays a little long um I mean I, maybe like 20 30 minutes or whatever but then i like it better like after that because the waxiness which is what people seem to like the most about this was that waxy lipsticky thing but i just like kind of the cosmetic powdery and it smells like it has like cherry or something in it it smells like a vintage like type of lipstick or compact or something like that so if they take away that waxy vibe i would like it more because i do like it more in the dry down it does just have that cosmetic type of vibe um so if you like the cosmetic powdery type of vibe you like that lipsticky smell um you know the lipsticky waxy smell then you would like this but this is discontinued so yeah matcha meditation i wanted this so bad when it came out and it was so hard to get and i finally got it and i love it it really is like matcha powder so the matcha powder that you would put in your tea or like the matcha that you would get from like starbucks or something like that because it has a nice creaminess to it from the white chocolate so it's like matcha powder and white chocolate people a lot of people get florals in here like jasmine 
I don't really get a lot of florals in here. I get a little bit maybe, but not a lot. It really just smells like matcha and white chocolate to me. But a lot of people get, um, you know, uh, florals in here. They get soapiness in here, and I really don't get that. So if you're looking for trying this fragrance and you tried it and it's not working for you, it's like too floral or whatever, like pull out the chocolate, like do a chocolate routine with it. That's what I do. I use the chocolate routine with it and I love it. And it just makes it stay on my skin so much longer. And yeah, I really like this one. It's just so calming and zen and all of that. It says Tokyo 2008 Zen Sense and Matcha Tea. And that's how I feel when I wear this. I feel real zen, real comforted, real calm, you know, and all of that. Next is Lazy Sunday Morning. It says Florence 2003 Soft Skin and Bed Linen. And that's what you get out of this fragrance. It just definitely smells so nice and clean. If you like clean linen and clean laundry type of fragrances, that's what you're gonna get out of this. It's very, very clean. <laughs> but it also still smells like perfume to me too. It doesn't just completely smell like just complete bed sheets and it has that kind of replica DNA in there. So this is something I wanna wear when I feel, wanna feel clean, calm, comforted. Um, this is something that I love to wear when a flow is in town. When you just wanna smell clean and fresh, you don't wanna smell sweet and sexy and you don't, you don't want all of that. You just wanna smell clean and that's when I reach for this. I personally like clean linen fragrances for those type of occasions, for just being in the house, for just, you know, just relaxing. I like fragrances like that, so that's why I like this one. Next is Bubble Bath. This is Beverly Hills 2005 Comforting Clean Accords. Okay, so when I first smelled this, I got a travel spray from Sephora. I sprayed it and hated it. I was like, why does it smell like somebody's like smoking a cigarette in a bathtub? Like it just smelled so bad, so smoky. It just i didn't like it at all but something told me like because there were a few fragrances from replica that i tried and i didn't like them and i was like something's telling me to go back and revisit them <laughs> that's why they're in my collection now and i went back to revisit this i found with a lot of replica fragrances they do need to sit sometimes so when you buy an older bottle it just smells totally different so i bought this one and y'all so much better like so much better now i'm getting the bubble bath i'm getting the soap i'm getting the coconut i'm getting like i don't know if it's some lavender or something in there like some type of florals in there but it does definitely smell more like a nice comforting bath now than it did when i first first tried it i was like mm -mm, absolutely not this is definitely one i like to wear when i just want to smell clean and fresh i don't want to be doing too much and I just want to, you know, just smell clean and fresh. And it does have, like I said, that replica DNA. So it, it's not super just completely soapy. It has an underlying type of smoky, woodiness to it. But you still definitely get the bubble bath in there. So this grew on me after I got a bottle that had been sitting and sprayed and all of that. Because as soon as I smelt it at the store, I didn't like it. Like it much, much better now. This one is Beach Walk. This one says Calvi 1972 Sun Kissed salty skin and that's exactly what you get with this this was one of my one of my first um purchases for replica and yeah i like this one so if you're the person that likes the coconut vanilla type of vibe this is kind of sort of kind of like that um you get the the beachy vibe you get the salty skin you get the the warm you know sun kissed skin you know you can feel that your skin is warm and you get the saltiness from like the ocean and the air and it really does smell like a walk on the beach and you can like smell that the the water is like splashing up on your skin and you kind of get that whole mixture in the vibe here i like that it has that salty skin vibe and it has a little sweetness to it it's nice fresh nice to wear in the summertime when you just you know not trying to do the most you just want to do you just want to smell good you want to smell fresh you want to smell summery and all of that if you like beachy type of fragrances this is definitely a good one to try next is coffee break so this is one that i wanted so bad because everybody spoke so highly of it my juice is getting a little darker now so i'm liking that when i first tried this loved it instantly the lavender the coffee the creaminess all of that just kind of vibes together in here and coffee break says stockholm 2007 creamy and cozy coffee and that's just what this is it definitely smells like you're in a posh type of coffee shop there's lavender uh candles around or something like that i know takara thompson always used to say that it smells like it has lavender milk in it if that was a thing and it really does it smells like it has lavender milk in it so it's just calming comforting cozy 
um, just a really nice fragrance to wear if you don't like coffee I don't feel like the coffee is overbearing in here I just feel like it's done just right the lavender in here is not super strong it just all blends together really really well so I think this is a great coffee fragrance if you do like coffee try it if you don't like coffee try it anyway because I don't feel like the coffee is too too heavy the last one is by the fireplace it says Shamonix. I'm not sure how to say the name of that city 1971 burning wood and chestnut now we all know this is a super popular replica fragrance among men women like everybody kind of likes this so when I tried it I was like <laughs> absolutely not all i could smell was smoke and ashes and burnt and it was terrible i was like oh absolutely not like what do y'all love about that and everybody was like girl you gotta wait for the dry down you gotta wait for the dry down that's when you get the vanilla and you get this da, 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 da. I'm like all right so something told me to revisit it and i did i waited for that dry down oh that is definitely when the magic happens so you get that vanilla you get that chestnut you still get the smokiness but the smokiness is not as intense as it is when you first spray it it actually dies down pretty quick when i first sprayed it and first tried it i was like um get this off me immediately so i didn't even give it a chance to dry down or for the smokiness to go away so but once i did revisit this and I have really grown to love the smokiness in this like when the holidays came like I was wanting to wear this I wanted to like it really gave me that holiday feeling it's perfect in the cold weather it cuts through the cold and I really really grew to like this the dry down is so nice so creamy and vanilla and you get the nuttiness from the chestnuts but you still have that smoke and I just really like I can't believe I like this because when I first smelled it I was like hell no this is definitely one of the more longer lasting ones i get like six hours out of this one and yeah so i see why everybody loves the fireplace so now that we're at the end i'm gonna go ahead and rank the fragrances for you <laughs> you know i made y'all wait to the end okay uh but yeah let's get into it so number 12 would be lipstick on when i finished this bottle i would not seek to repurchase it um since it's discontinued anyway like yeah it's other lipsticky fragrances that i like much more than this you know the cosmetic type of fragrances so this i would not repurchase number 11 is on a date this one is still just okay to me like i'll, I'll wear it but i'm not in love for it. it's not something that i just kind of want to reach for um it definitely still has that black currant greenness to it like you know with the the divana and the oak moss it you really do get that green vibe it's okay but it's not a love number 10 is jazz club now i really do like jazz club i actually like jazz club better on my man when i wear it i put something a little more sweet with it something like more with vanilla in it and then it gives it more of a feminine touch but i like the way it smells on me but it just needs a, to be a little sweeter on me but it's just fine on my man like on him it smells amazing Number nine is springtime in a park. This is gonna be perfect for the spring and the summer. This one is newer to my collection, so that's why I couldn't really, really rank it up there, but I kinda know where it fits. I mean, it's a nice floral, a little bit of powderiness, and it dries down a little more, just kinda clean, shampoo-y like, and I like that. It's gonna be nice in the heat and hot weather, so number nine is springtime in a park. Number eight is sailing day. I really like sailing day, like I said, for that fresh, clean, aquatic type of vibe. You get that nice, salty, you know, sea type of you know vibe when you wear this and it's just a fresh and clean um scent like i said it is unisex leaning slightly masculine so it all depends if you like that type of fragrance but i really like it when it's hot outside this is going to be really nice number seven is under the lemon trees i really like this i like how clean and fresh it is on me i don't i'm glad that it does not go cleaning product on me and when it dries down with that like slight woodiness i do really like that and it still has still has the citrus with the woodiness so this is just a nice clean fresh get up and go easy type of grab in the spring summer go run errands so that is what i'm going to use this for and that is why it is number seven number six is a bubble bath and i just like bubble bath because it's just nice and clean and fresh when you just want to just be nice clean and fresh you know what i'm saying it's an easy reach easy grab i just wear it around the house i haven't worn it outside but you can absolutely wear this outside and i think it will shine more in the spring and summer you'll really be able to smell this on you outside so yeah if you're looking for something just smell clean fresh easy 
easy reach, easy grab something for, you know, work or something like that, you can definitely try bubble bath. Number five is matcha meditation. So this is another one that I like that just kind of gives me like a zen calm feeling and it gives me that sweetness with the uh, white chocolate. Love doing a chocolate routine with this. And when I wear this to bed, it just, I smell the chocolate and the matcha on me like all night and in the morning. So I really do like matcha meditation. Next is beach walk. So this is the more feminine aquatic uh, fragrance in this collection. Um, so if you're looking for something fresh, clean, aquatic, um, salty, you know, a little sweet, then beach walk would be the vibe for you. If you like those beachy fragrances, you want that memory of just kind of walking on the beach at sunset, that's what this will give you. Number three is by the fireplace. So I'm just as shocked as you guys are, okay? Just as shocked as y'all. I did not think I would like this as much as I do, but wearing it throughout the holidays in the cold weather, like I really did like this. Definitely unisex, but when I wear it, I don't feel like it's super masculine. Like I said, I love the smokiness now and I love the sweetness and the nutty and the dry down so surprisingly by the fireplace is number three number two is coffee break love me some coffee break it's comfy it's cozy it has the perfect amount of sweetness creaminess the lavender gives it an aromatic vibe and i just really really like coffee break and i know it's going to get even better and better with time because the juice is going to get darker it's going to get sweeter like and i, I love it right now though <laughs> last but certainly not least number one is lazy sunday morning and the reason why this is um, number one for me is because this is the fragrance that introduced me to this house. This was the first replica fragrance that I tried. And then when I smelled it, I immediately ordered a full bottle. I had a travel size and I was like, oh my gosh, I love a clean linen, clean laundry scent, but this has some kind of a different twist to it. It wasn't just straight up clean laundry and clean linen. It had something else to it to still give it like a perfume vibe for me, but this is what made me fall in love with the house and made me fall in love with the memory in a fragrance because once I smelled this it took me to laying in the bed on a lazy Sunday morning in all white sheets and just you know laying there with your lover and just talking and just you know vibing and the sun is like shining on both of y'all and you know y'all need to get up and do stuff but y'all like nah we just gonna lay in the bed all day and just love on each other and that's just kind of what this reminds me of so lazy sunday morning is my number one so hopefully you guys love this ranking. Hopefully you found something that you might want to try. Definitely start with travel sprays because this is a challenging house for somebody that just doesn't want to smell exactly like a memory or they don't know how the memory is going to translate on their skin. So definitely start with travel sprays or get you these bottles at a discounted price. Girl, I'm going to link everything down in the description box for y'all. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and of course subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one.